Okay guys, in this video we will fix your connection was interrupted a network change was detected it's an error message like error network changed so how do you fix this issue? The step by step I'll guide you to the different solutions one the other solutions will definitely help you so whatever is the browser whether it is a chrome or you are using the is or you are using some other browser the very first solution that you are going to try is just refresh the page you can see the refresh icon refresh the page error should go away otherwise the next thing you can do is use the different tab this is another thing you can do the third thing that you can do is you can just uh, restart the PC and check it if it is working fine the next solution you can try is you can go to history click on history and then click on clear browsing data go to advance here you want to select all you want to check browsing download history cookies keys and files and clear data it doesn't matter whether it is for the chrome microsoft is or whichever browser whether you are using the Mozilla Firefox or whatever browser you are using you are going to follow the same steps the next thing uh, you can try is you have to go to search and you are going to search for apps here you are going to see apps and features click on it you are going to see the list of apps here you can search for the different application I'm going to search for change the applications. I'm going to click on modify, click on yes, and here I have an option to repair. So I can repair it. This is the next solution that you're going to try. If the issue is with the is, if the issue is with the Chrome, you can repair it from here. What you can do is let me minimize it for a while. If it is for the Chrome, what you're going to do is you're going to click on this three dot line and then you're going to go to settings and you'll strictly come down to the bottom, click on about Chrome. You can update Chrome to the latest person if you're using the older version. So this is the something that you can try. Now you can see it is doing the same thing. It has downloaded and installing the Edge again. So this is what you can do. So the next thing is if it is for the Chrome or whatever browser, whether you're using Edge or Firefox, you can go to Extension, click on Manage Extension, and here you will have a list of extension that is installed in whichever browser. You can just access this extension from the settings, and you're gonna uninstall or disable unwanted extension. This might be causing the problem. The another reason is antivirus maybe antivirus is blocking the website or causing some kinds of issue so you can try that one the next thing that you can try is you can go to search and search for the firewall so on the top here you have so windows defender firewall you can open it here is a turn on windows defender firewall and off so for a while you can turn it off when you put turn it off uh, for the both private and public network you might put your computer at risk because it protects your computer from different harmful uh, websites uh, extension apps and different stuff so if you trust the website and if it is really very necessary for you you can just try that website doing the uh, by turning off you this windows defender so uh, click on ok now you have successfully done it and if it works so you can use the website and do not come, uh, don't forget to come back and again turn it on back again after using the website. 
in order to keep your computer secure. The next thing that you can try is here is your network icon. Give a right click on it. Click on open network and internet settings. You will go to Wi Fi. Click on manage non network. And here is the network. You can click on forget. And then after you are going to restart your PC, enter the password for your Wi Fi network again and start using. So, this is the one solution that you can try if you are getting this error. Sometime turn off your router for 5 to 10 minutes and again you turn it on, it might work for you. Sometime you will have a reset button in your router, click that reset button, do not click on other button other than the reset, just click on reset button in your router, this will reset your network and try it again. So this can be one uh, reason, sometimes uh, it causes the problem, so you can try this one. So the next thing that you can try is, you can go to the search and search for the proxy, it is proxy. When you open the proxy settings, you will have over here address and port. So when you turn on and use the proxy server, you are going to use the correct address and correct port. So if you are using a wrong address or the wrong port, this can be one reason why you are getting this error. So the next thing that you can try is, you are going to open the command prompt. So you are going to type cmd, give a right click on it and run as administrator. Click on yes. Now finally you are opening the command prompt as an administrator. Now you are going to type few commands. So the very first command is ipconfig ipconfig space slash release and hit enter key. After executing the first command, the ne next command that you are going to execute is ipconfig space slash plus dns and hit enter key. You can see successfully flush the DNS. This is the next command that you are going to type ipconfig space slash renew and then hit enter key. The fourth command to execute is netsh space int space ip space reset hit enter key. Now finally one more command to execute. netsh winsock space reset so we have a space over here and here and hit enter key now finally it will ask you to restart your computer so exit it and we will restart the computer so after restart your problem should be gone away and you will be able to fix the issue and your browser should be working fine, whether it is a Chrome or whether it is a Edge or Firefox or whatever browser. Finally, the last option that you're going to try is you're going to search for the control panel and open it. In control panel, you have a network and internet. Here you have a internet option. In an internet option, you will go to connections and then LAN setting. Make sure it is checked. If it is unchecked, you want to check this. And this should be unchecked. If it is checked, make sure to uncheck. So this should be unchecked and this should be checked. So confirm that and click on OK. And click on OK. So this was the last solution that you could try. Along with this, so in the last solutions, so one more thing you can add to this one. So for the last step, one more thing that you can do if you are using an Ethernet network. You will give a right click on it, click on open in network and internet settings. We will go to Ethernet and finally we will click on change adapter option. Now if you click on change adapter option, you will see this space. Give a right click on Ethernet whichever you are using, click on properties. And then finally you will choose here TCP IP version 4. Finally click on properties, here it is opt in automatically, you can manually assign the IP address. So this is you can do. In some cases, in some cases if you are using a Windows 10 or Windows 11, you can even click on over here, edit, 
here it is automatic you're gonna choose manual turn on IP version 4 and you can manually use the IP address and gateway and save the settings and you can try so all these were the different options you could try in order to fix this issue and finally your browser should be working fine this issue should be gone in any browser whether it is a Chrome or Ace or Firefox or whatever so all the way said this video like subscribe and comment catch you in the next tutorial have a good day